Hello YouTube, back again for a pickups video. In the background we've got Robocop versus the Terminator playing in the background. I've been playing this uh, today and last night I've been playing it for a little while. I actually completed this for the first time ever today. Cracking game. When I used to play this back in the day, this was a really difficult game, but now I have one of these I can play it now this is it's got turbo turbo pad and it's got slow motion on it so when, when I get to the bosses I put turbo on and it's it when I push the shoot button it acts like it's fired like a thousand bullets so it's nice I can kill the bosses quite easy but when you get to the final boss e even with the turbo boss tur the turbo button on the, the last boss takes fucking thousands and thousands and thousands of bullets Take I had like 17 lives and I had three by the end of it. Difficult game without the turbo pad, but yeah. It's not cheating, it just makes it just easier easier on the finger. But yeah, cracking game. But yeah, let's not let's talk about my pickups. Got quite a few today. Um went in some random charity shops, picked up a few things and uh yeah this is what I've got. I've got this uh, Mist for the PC. I don't really play PC games, but I was a sucker for it. It was so cheap, I thought well, I'll get it. And the thing about it is, it's Mist, the trilogy. The reason I bought it is everything in it is sealed. It's still sealed. And that's what made me think, oh, I'll get it. I looked on eBay, this goes for about 20 to 30 quid. A used copy, so a sealed one. Maybe I can get a bit more. So yeah, but I'm a bit of a reseller there. I might, I might put it on eBay or just keep it. And uh, in the same charity shop, I found two Mega Drive games. I found another copy of Sonic. Never can have, never have too many of these. I like, I like to have doubles because you never know when one's going to die out. So games that I play a lot. I said, it, I said in a past video, if I play it a lot, I like to have a couple copies spare. And I got Fantasia, and I didn't have this, and it's it's all complete, and it's got a poster. I haven't had a look at the poster. Done. I don't even know what it is, and it's all there. And they charged me a pound each for them, so not too bad. And then I went into another charity shop, which was down the same high, down the same street, and I got I got this. I got Rugrats, the Royal Ransom, PlayStation Two, bit scratched, so it's going to need cleaning, but I don't mind. And uh, I also picked up two Wii games for three pound a piece, which isn't too bad. And that's uh, the Golden Compass and Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. So, yeah, two Wii games. Surprised to see a Wii, uh, Wii games in the charity shop. Who throw these away or we'll give them away? And again, in the, in the same charity shop, I picked up my stack of GameCube games. And they are Die Hard Vendetta. I've got this on the PS2 as well, but I, li I like to have them, have them on all consoles. Because the um, the GameCube, the graphics are a bit... They look like Play-Doh, like more pastel -y. They've got more different look to the graphics, so yeah. I've got that. Um, the Incredibles. And I've got the uh, Splinter Cell trilogy all on GameCube. So I've got Splinter Cell 1, Splinter Cell 2, Pandora Tomorrow, and Chaos Theory. And also on GameCube. Super Monkey Ball Adventure, and uh, inside this one, it had a 
a spare memory card. So I need I needed one of them. Oh, it's so hot in this room. Well, every, everything is from charity shops. I didn't go anywhere else. Just charity shops. I picked up a three six an Xbox 360 game, Tomb Raider Underworld. It's missing the front cover, but it's got everything else. It's got the game and manual. And that was that was two pound for that. And I also picked up uh, a skateboarding DVD. Uh, anyone interested in skateboarding will know this bit. Will know this DVD, and that's a uh, Folly Flared by Lakai. And that was uh, two quid. And it's over there. This is a quality DVD. This is the skateboarding skills in this are so good, so good. And um, the next is uh, some more PS2 games. Picked up a Platinum Rugby 2004. All there. Picked up Outlaw Golf. I'm not really into golf games, but because it's uh, got a bit of a rough look to it, might be uh, fun. Again, all there. Up Dancing Stage Fusion. I think that's all the dance mat games done now, I'm not sure. It's quite a few of them. NFL Street 3. All there, and I've got I've got all of these, one, two and three. Also picked up a, a demo disc. I had to pay 50p for this. They wanted 150 for it, but I managed to talk them down. And I'm not sure if the, did these ever come with a manual or not. I don't know. And that was disc 48, 2004. Next, I picked up Karaoke Stage. Which is made by the same people that did Dancing Stage. And again, all there, and, in, and, in, and including all the um, the advertisements and stuff like that. Next, picked up SingStar Rocks. Complete, all there. When it comes to PS2 games, I like to have them complete. AFL Live 2004. These ones are a bit uncommon to, to come by. I don't really see these ones, so when I get them, I like it. Ugh, lost for words there. They're tricky to find these ones. I don't see them on eBay. And again, all there. And there's a few, there's a few of these ones. AFL 2000. I think it... I think they have one for every year, really. Next, another game I've been trying to find for a couple of weeks. Oh, I've been seeing it in charity shops, but it was always scratched to shit and mi or missing the manual. But I finally found a complete copy, and that's a Snooker Championship 2007. Yeah. And lastly, for PS2, I found in a charity shop, Rugby 06. Just a couple more to go. In the charity shop, I found a PSP game. I don't have a PSP, but I like the series of this game, so I picked it up anyway. You never know, I might find a PSP cheap, and I'll have a game to play it. To play. And that was uh, Ape Escape on the Loose. And as usual, all complete. Next is a, a couple PS1 games. Got um, Toka Touring Car Championship, Black Cable. I think I've got this. I've got the platinum version. 
So yeah, that was a, a pound. And um, I picked up the amazing, the amazing virtual sea monkeys in a charity shop. This one, this game is absolute pants. I played it and it's, I couldn't get on with it. It's just, it's not shit. I just, it's not my sort of game. Um, I picked up Buster Move Four, quality game. I like, I like the um, puzzle games. Similar to Columns, but in reverse. Like you, you ping the balls up. I like, I like that. And lastly. Well, second from last, I picked up Jersey Devil. Unfortunately, it was uh, missing the uh, front cover, but it came with two manuals. So that's all right. It's a it's a right game. Bit bit difficult. It's a tricky one. And the last one, not not the best. It's just the luck, the bottom of the pile. I picked up. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone for the PS1. Um, I've already got this one, but the thing that's different about this one, this one is um, a variation. It's um, not to be sold separately, if you can see in the corner. It's meant to be sold as a bundle with the console. It says uh, to be sold with PS1 unit only, not to be sold separately. So I thought I'll get that. It's in a skinny box. Skinny box. It's all complete. So yeah, I'm gonna play this. I'm not sure. I might. I might record it. If I record it, I might not. I might not complete the game. So I hope that doesn't bother anyone. So I'm, I'll just record it. And see how far I can get. So yeah, I'm gonna play that. Thanks for watching. Peace.